Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Big L. Just wanted to make a, a video. We, um... We... Discuss racism a lot, and we, uh... We talk about things a lot as far as like, what's going on in the world in this uh, in the United States, and it's sad that there are still those people who believe racism doesn't exist. There are those people who never have had to deal with being attacked by racism, never had to be called out their name. You know, never been, you know, never had to really deal with it, you know, and they're blinded to the fact that racism exists. They're blinded to the fact that people are still being killed for no apparent reason at all whatsoever, or simply because they're black. You know, we, we discussed this and I've had friends, you know, I've had discussions at work, especially when uh, a few years ago, uh, LeBron made the statement that he was uh, fearful of his sons um, because, you know, what's going on and. I had people argue with me. Oh no, you know, people. We, LeBron ain't got to deal with that. You know, he don't have to deal with that stuff. And you know, it's, really, that's just sad. Blah 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 blah. It's like, well, you know, right after that, man, I hate to say the word, but right after that, uh, Jay Z made the song "Still Nigga," and the truth is, no matter what, there are those that see us as just niggas. You know, no matter how much money you got, no matter um, where you what what your status is in in, in society, um, no matter what you do, no matter if you're good or or bad, people there are those that do not care. There are those that have so much hatred in their heart and in their mind that they'll just kill you just because they hate you just because you're black. Here now you got another case. Whereas man was just jogging, jogging in the neighborhood. And an ex-cop and his son killed him in cold blood in the middle of the street. And the worst part about it, this happened, you know, a couple weeks ago, and no charges were brought up. And now that, you know, this video surfaced that was hidden, a video surfaced up, now, now you'll probably see some charges, maybe or they'll make up some story that this man was robbing someone. It's it's very sad and it's something that it, it needs to be gotten rid of, you know, it needs to be talked about, it needs to be people need to be punished for what they do. And as long as you keep allowing ex-cops, cops, other people like like George Zimmerman's to get off on doing this stuff and, and not go to jail, not serve any serious time, not be punished, not go to the chair. You know, as long as you allow these things to happen and people to go unpunished, it's going to keep happening. And the saddest part is most black people know that. Most black, black people know that we are targets and you're gonna get nothing for being killed. Your family's gonna get nothing for you being killed in cold blood other than missing a father, a son, husband, brother. And a lot of times, a lot of women are being attacked now. It's really sad that a lot of us, we get pulled over by the cops now the fear isn't about going to jail. The fear is this might be one of those punk cops that, you know, already have it in their brain that you are a criminal or they want to kill you anyway. And it's not to say that every cop is like that because they're not. I know a lot of good cops. And, um, but it's sad that that is the fear in our in our mind when we get pulled over. We don't care about going. I mean, if you go to jail, you go to jail for something. I mean, I get that. If you are a criminal, I get that. But I'm not a criminal. Worst thing I've done in my life is speed on the on the highway or you know on, on the streets. That's the worst thing I've done. 
and I have to worry about being shot and killed with my kids in the car, my wife in the car, my wife being injured. I got to worry about that when I get pulled over, if I get pulled over for a speeding ticket. I got to worry about dying over a speeding ticket. And that is something that a lot of people, I'm sorry, a lot of white people will never have to worry about. You don't have to worry about being killed when you get pulled over by the cops. And there are those that are, you know, when I post this video, are going to talk about how it's foolish and, um, you know, people shouldn't do that and uh, black people shouldn't feel that way. And, you know, but you, you don't understand. You you can't walk in our shoes at all. So you will never understand. Just like in politics, you know, we we all come from different walks of life so because of that that's why our views are different that's why you know when you the worst thing that's happened to you in your life when you were a child is your father's uh his uh his store was being robbed by somebody that's the worst thing that's happened to you in your life that tells me you've sought after this man anyway ended up killing him and now he's the victim how is the attacker the victim? How is it, if you come to me, I don't care what time of day it is. I'm minding my business. And you come ask me, what am I doing? Who, and you start interrogating me like you are somebody. You ain't nobody. Who are you? You automatically have an issue out of me because I don't know, I'm, I'm a 280 pound black man. I'm not no little guy. And if you got the balls enough to come up to me out of nowhere to ask me who I am, what am I doing, why am I here, you have a problem on your hands because you are the attacker. I'm trying to protect myself now. You pull out a gun. We wrestle. I get shot and die. And now you're the victim. Out of all the evidence in that case, how could they let that man walk in a real judicial system. And he's been in jail several times since then for domestic violence, for other stupid offenses. And then after that, at a gun show, they hired him to come in and sign autographs. There are people out there who celebrate the fact that you kill a black man. And that goes to show it. That's proof right there. People at a gun show. George, George Zimmerman is now a star because he killed a black kid. You want to rep him to represent you at a gun show because he killed a black kid. That's the only thing he did. There are too many racist people in this world. And this should show you something, if not anything else, if not the last, the other case where the old black man was running away from the cop and the cop shot him in the back and killed him and claimed self-defense. That old man was running almost slow motion. <laughs> was running slow motion. And a cop shot him in the back and killed him. If you that scared as a cop, you don't need to be a cop. You need to go work somewhere else. If you so scared that when you see my black skin, that the first thing you do is reach for your gun. As it's been so many times when I've gotten pulled over on speeding tickets where I've had one cop walk up to my uh, my driver's door, or driver door window and I've looked in my rearview mirror and seen another cop with his gun out ready to shoot or a shotgun out ready to shoot over a speeding ticket. Like, I am almost all of a sudden just going to start firing away over a speeding ticket. Like I'm not, you know, like I'm just automatically a criminal. You, when you pull up my record, 
when they page you, it's, it's called page, paging you is when the cop is behind you and they're they're up on your bumper. It's called paging you because what they're doing is calling in for your information. They call your information in to see who you are to get the auto rundown and everything else. That's why the cop knows all your information when he comes up to your window. He knows if you got a gun license or, or, or gun permit before you even walk up to the window. You know my information. You know who I am. You know if I have a criminal record or not. So if I have no criminal record at all whatsoever, why would you walk up to my door with your gun out? My dad always taught me, and people always taught me, because I got a gun too, that as soon as you bring your gun out, when you pull your gun, you have to be ready and willing to shoot to kill. That's why you pull your gun, because the situation is heightened enough that you know that it's dangerous, you might die, so I'm gonna pull my gun out just in case I have to shoot you and kill you. So why are you so ready to kill me when you walk up to my window over a speeding ticket or over a seatbelt violation or over running the stop sight, stop uh, uh, light when your bumper is still in the, in the intersection when the light turns red, that's an offense. You are ready to kill me over that. You've seen so many videos and people can't be so stupid or blind or naive. You've seen so many videos of people getting killed. These blue, uh, young black kids. One, one, young, uh, one video I saw, the kid, I guess, stole a pop and a candy bar from a little convenience store. He's running down the street. You see three cop cars roll up, jump out, and they killed that boy in the middle of the street over a pop and a candy bar. So you're telling me that this little kid's life is worth nothing than maybe a dollar twenty-five. This man was jogging down the street minding his own business. And you mean to tell me his wife his life is worth nothing? Nothing. His, he, he jogged down the street. I got a one and a half year old son and I worry, man. And I'm sure my dad worried too. But, you know, this stuff has is, is been going on for a very long time. Um, black people being getting lynched down south and it still happens um black people being killed by the cops by bad cops and it being covered up black people in the in the jails that don't deserve to be there black people in jail over marijuana cases now you got white people as millionaires selling weed There's so many criminals in the, that, are, that are let go. Um, just like the case down in Florida where uh, the little, the white, what was he, a lacrosse star or something like that, white kid raped that girl that was unconscious. She's, she's unconscious, he rapes her. And the judge says, or get, when he gives him no time basically, says that you know, you, you, his, his life is worth something. He didn't want to ruin his life by putting him in jail. But you had a black football star that was in jail for like five or six years that was accused of raping somebody. This this white guy, you saw it. You saw what he did. The black guy was accused of it, served like five, six years in jail, then only got out because the girl finally said that she was lying the whole time. You try to ruin this man's life because you you don't think he's worth anything. So you're quick to say, just like Allen Iverson, they wanted to ruin Allen Iverson's life because he chose to go to a, the wrong school. He chose to go to a school they didn't want him to go to a rival school. So they tried to ruin his life. It, it's sad to know when you walk out the door, go anywhere, that there are people that look at you that think you are less than nothing. No matter what you got on, 
No matter how you talk, no matter what car you drive, no matter how you carry yourself, no matter what job you have, no matter how much money you make, there are people out there that look at you and think you are worth less than nothing. And they prove that in actions like right now, this man was killed for jogging up the street. Little kid killed for stealing a candy bar and a pop. Trayvon Martin killed for walking up, walking at night with a hoodie on. I don't know when this type of thinking will stop. And that type of thinking is that black people are automatically criminals and white people are automatically angelic and can't do any wrong. When black people do something, it's, it's, uh, it's in their nature. When white people do something, something went wrong in their life, and I don't, we need to pinpoint what, what happened. You know, it's just, it's messed up. It's really messed up. And I pray that I'm not next. I pray that my family's not impacted by something like this. I pray that one of my, it's not one of my friends or one of my cousins, you know. It's it's sad that I have to think that way. It's sad that when I talk to folks, it's sad that right now on my friends list on Facebook, that there are those that think that. They will see this video and automatically think I'm less than, have already thought I was less than, at my job has thought that I was less than. There are those, you know, racism is so funny that <clears throat> you hear the way I talk. And when you hear the way I talk, your thought is, oh, okay, crap. He's not one of those. He's, he's, he's cool. If that is your mindset and thought, that is racist. Because you automatically thought when you saw me that I was hood, ghetto, probably going to steal something from you. That's probably not educated I had one girl tell me that I was the whitest black guy she knows because of how I talk and I had to educate her and tell her you know just because I talk like I'm educated which I am I went to college too um, just because I speak a certain a certain way doesn't mean I sound white and people need to get that off out, out, out of they need to get rid of that because it's racist to think to yourself that sounding educated is white not sounding educated is black sounding hood or ghetto or whatever is black but sounding educated like you went to college is white that's a racist thought I don't know if y'all know, there's some college graduates that are rappers that sound real nuts. <laughs> Plies is one of them, but we ain't gonna talk about that. You know, but... <sighs> it's a shame, but I also have to take on a, t a certain type of persona to be accepted by society. I have to seem docile. I have to seem white in so many ways in order for people to accept you. That's racist too. And that's built into the society. But I don't wanna to get too far off subject, but um, it really does sadden me that this stuff keeps happening. And I don't wanna just say it, it's Trump, cause it's not just Trump, but when you, speak a certain way and when you support certain things you allow those who are already thinking of doing wrong and who already have a bad mindset you are allowing those people 
to come out of the woodworks and do what they want to do. If you have a rhetoric of hate, no matter what race it is, there are those who are going to creep out the woodworks and they're going to, you know, like I said, they're going to do their own agenda. You know, I do admit that, you know, there were the same people that voted for Obama that voted for Trump. And at the time, when they voted uh, President Obama in the first time, there were a lot of those racist people that voted for President Obama because they knew if they voted for McCain or Romney, that they were going to be, you know, in a in a problem. You know, going to be even more of a money issue. And Romney, you know, he wasn't speaking right at the time anyway. He just sounded like a, a bad salesman. And so, you know. It, so they voted for President Obama. That was the best thing for them to do to save their own money at the time. Right now, they flipped it. You know, they got tired of for President Obama, and then you get someone in who wants to, you know, on hate speeches, who wants to destroy everything that Obama did and put his name on it. You know, you want to scribble out someone's name and put your name in its place. So when you preach hate, you get hate. And hate starts to you know, come out. People start saying whatever they want to say. Be sideways is on the what, saying the stupidest things. And then all of a sudden they get fired from their job. They wonder, don't wonder, uh, don't know why. Just like the, the uh, teenage girl a couple weeks ago, her and her boyfriend made this video on TikTok where they were in the bathroom with all these racist words. You know, it was... A, a bit against black people and everything was against black people in that video and all of a sudden she don't know why her black friends don't like her. you didn't have black friends in the first place if you made a video like that secondly you know people use that word friends very loosely because that's not that's not being a friend thirdly how do you not understand you know that you're gonna get kicked out of school that you're gonna people gonna look at you cross from now on how do you not understand that? And the reason is because people don't, they don't see that as a consequence. They feel that they can do it right now in this society, this state in this society, they feel that they can do whatever they want to and there's no consequence. As long as you feel that way, people are gonna do whatever they wanna do. And this is another case right now, this man being shot and killed in the middle of the street for absolutely no reason at all. That should show you that there are a lot of people who do what they feel like doing and think about it. They've gotten away with it for a couple of weeks. No charges filed. Nothing until this video surface. Ain't nobody heard anything about this till the video surface. It's absolutely sad. And that should show you there are a lot of places. And you know, don't don't try to tell me, oh, this is just uh this is one case, just, you know, this is one one case where someone hits stuff. This happens all the time. And, you know, this has been happening since Richard Pryor and other guys uh, in the uh, late 60s, early 70s um, were telling people that, you know, black people getting lynched out here. Black cops are doing this, cops are doing that. And people think it's jokes and laugh it off. No, that ain't happening. I'm talking 50 years ago. And it still happens. Think about that. Just because you don't see it, don't mean it don't happen. Just like that stupid thing the, uh, that they keep saying, that people say, if a tree falls in the middle of the forest and nobody hear, hears it, did it make a sound? Don't be stupid. Yes, it made a sound. Just because you can't prove it made a sound or not, don't mean it didn't make a sound. Everything else tells you that when something 2,000 pounds hit the ground, it's gonna, it's gonna make a sound. When, and this is terrible, but there's been videos that people have caught people jumping out of buildings. And the sound when someone hits the concrete is, is terrifying. It's terrifyingly loud. So you don't tell me that a tree in the middle of the forest don't make a sound, might not make a sound when it hits the ground. It's dumb. Just because there's not a video 
of everyone being lynched, killed, shot for no reason, hunted down. Just because there's not always a video don't mean it hasn't been happening for a very long time. Mm. Yeah, I just don't know. This pisses me off. And I just don't understand how, you know, there are those that, that try to tell me or try to think that racism doesn't exist. When there are so many people out here that are ready, willing, and able to kill you for nothing and get away with it. All right, y'all. I know this has been a long video, but I hope y'all out there being safe. Stay home. You know, do what you gotta do. If you go jog, jog in a group <laughs> so you can protect yourself. You know, it's a shame that I got, if I go jog and ride my bike, I might have to have my shotgun with me. <laughs> it's, it's a shame. It's, it's stupid. Oh my God. Gotta carry Raheem wherever I go, huh? All right, y'all. I hope y'all having a blessed day. Like I said, stay home, stay with your families. Get some family time in while we're all still off work. Um, trying to find some joy today, you know. I'm going to go and play with my kids and look at my son. And just, they always bring me joy. And so I'm going to go play with my kids and, and try to let this fall off me a little bit today because this is crazy hearing about people being killed for no reason, man. And then there's always somebody out there that's going to justify it, try to justify it with their words. <sighs> but all right, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Um, please like, subscribe. Uh, hit me up on all social media. This is going to be on Facebook. It's going to be on uh, YouTube. It's going to be on uh, Instagram and Twitter. Um, so... Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. And uh, to the next video, y'all. God bless. Peace.